All right, here's some things that I, I suggest that you check before we even get started. Okay? Make sure you're in auto mode. Okay? Auto mode, we're right here at the very bottom of the, in the middle of this, the, the display, should say auto. Okay? The options are approximate mode and uh, the um, exact mode. Okay? So to get to auto mode, you hit this mode button, which is right below the white alpha key. Okay, and if you scroll down, or if you move to the, uh, hit F2 to jump to page 2, or just keep scrolling down, where it says exact approximate at the, the very bottom of the screen here, click to the right. You can choose between those three modes. And okay, here's what they mean. Auto mode means it'll display the answer in whatever form you entered the, the calculation. And that's why it's the most useful. It's really versatile. Exact mode means it's going to give you the exact answer. And so if you type in, uh, if you have a rational form or a, a square root form, it's going to leave it as a fraction or leave it as a square root. A approximate form means it's going to put it in decimal form every time. So even if you put 1 slash 2 and hit enter, it'll display it as 0.5. It's going to put it in decimal form. And the, the reason auto mode is the, the best mode, or in my opinion, is if you want the fraction form, you just write your answer as a fraction. If you want the decimal form, hit the green diamond, or you put the decimal in it, and you can you can have either way. It doesn't work on the other two. Approximate and exact won't allow you to uh, kind of toggle between them without going in and changing the modes. Okay. Secondly, the and the biggest thing that causes problems on calculators is the number of digits that are displayed. So when you guys typed in 509 point or over 333, some of yours might have displayed fewer de decimals or fewer digits than mine did. Okay? Because most of your calculators are set to only show six digits. Okay? I want to get out of that because if you have a number where the sixth digit is four and the seventh digit is eight, or some like just there's some ways that the way that it rounds on your display might not be correct for the the way that you need to enter your information. Okay, so um, in order to make sure that you have uh, float mode, okay, again you're going to go into the mode key. If you scroll down to where it says display digits, float six is the default. Okay, go ahead and move down. Keep, keep going down until you get to just float, which is choice E. You can also just push the, the button that corresponds to the letter E, which is the division key it looks like. And so if you just hit that, it'll jump right down to that. And hit select, hit enter, hit enter again to confirm it. So now you're in float mode. That, what that means is it'll show you as many digits in your display as there is room for it. And now let's say you needed more digits than what you see right here. And for some reason, you probably won't, but it's possible. And if you needed more digits than what are displayed here, what you could do, so this only allows, like, or as far as the region that's given to this calculation is smaller. If you wanted to see what the entire set of digits are, if you go up and highlight that and hit enter, right, it displays more than these digits. So it continues displaying digits beyond that. And so if you ever needed to see what comes after something that's in the display, and this includes if you're in float six. So if you're in float six and you don't want to change that mode, just highlight what you have. It'll pull down uh, as many digits as it can uh, in your display.